Yo guys, Rumble Man coming to you today, and in this video we're checking out a bass that I really like, that I've wanted to check out for quite a while, and that is this Squire Classic Vibe 70s Precision Bass. Make sure you stick with me. So guys, obviously some cool tones that sounded pretty sweet in a mix, as P basses are known to do. That's the thing, if you really want a bass guitar that's going to kick into your mix and really uh, you know, hit with the kick drum really well and give you some nice thick punch to your sound, P bass is the way to go, okay? Now it's not the only way to go, but to me it's one of the very, very, very best, all right? So guys, welcome to the Rumbling Man channel. If you've been here before, if you're a patron or a subscriber or an insider, welcome back. Thank you for all you do to help me do this. And if this is your first time here on the Rumbling Man channel, I wanna say to you, welcome. This is a guitar and bass channel in which we take a look at guitars, basses, related gear, comparisons, tutorials, you name it. So if you like those kind of videos, do me a favor, go on and hit the subscribe subscribe button and be one of my subscribers. I would love to have you along for this journey. I have long been a fan of the Squire Classic Vibe series. Honestly, general consensus, and my consensus as well, is that these basses from the Squire Classic Vibe series are freaking awesome. Like, not only are they kind of like the vintage basses that were made, but they're built really well, and they always sound and play absolutely great. This one, this uh, 70s Precision from the Classic Vibe series, reminds me a lot of a bass that I once had, a bass that uh, is my one that got away. The one that got away was also Classic Vibe Series and also a P bass, uh, but it wasn't the 70s, it was the 60s P bass. And I got it in like 2012 in Memphis, Tennessee. I took it on the road and toured with it. I played it live a ton. It was a beast live. And then uh, when I moved to Seattle, um, I actually played it on a lot of studio sessions and session work. And the funny thing is, I remember some studio sessions in which I would come to the studio and I would bring my music man, you know, my American jazz bass, and then I would bring this Squire Classic Vibe 60s P bass. And I remember playing the Squire on almost every track. It was a sweet bass. I loved it. To this day, it remains one of my favorites. It really nailed the uh, 60s vibe and could really handle any kind of music. But sadly, after some financial changes with work and things like that, I eventually had to sell it uh, to survive, and I sold it in a parking lot one day somewhere in Washington State. Uh, so this one really reminds me of the bass that got away. So the classic Vibe series in general is awesome, and this 70s rendition delivers a lot of the same feel and sound of the 60s rendition, except it's a 70s style bass. Now what they do with the classic Vibe series is very similar to that of which Fender does with its Ventera series, okay? They will release a model and say this is the 70s model or the 60s model or the 50s model. Well, you know, throughout each decade, several different models and variations came about. So kind of what they do is they take a lot of the key features from that one decade and wrap it up into one bass that really reflects it. And I think all these basses from the Squire Classic Vibe series not only really get the vintage vibe in a good way, they also have a sound that's really applicable in all styles of music today. Real quick, before we do another demo, I wanna give a shout out to my friend Low End Lobster, who is a fellow YouTuber. Uh, this is his bass that he sent me. Uh, check out his review of it too, as uh, we both do kind of different styles of music in our reviews. And so uh, big thanks to Low End Lobster for letting me check this one out today. On a very regular basis, I have guys come to me asking uh, for my recommendation on what kind of bass they should get. 
and I often recommend the P-Bass, but it's interesting because the P-Bass is not quite as popular in metal and heavy rock music. But I recommend just getting a P-Bass and that kind of music all the time just because of the way it sounds and the way it kicks. You know, you have the right pickup, you don't really lose your high end. In fact, let's go on and do a demo real quick uh, in which we will kind of put this in kind of a heavier rock setting. I'll turn on some distortion, play with a pick, and let's see how this sounds in a rock mix. When I think of, you know, basses from the 70s, I think of maple fretboards, black binding and black block inlays, uh, you know, the 70s style big Fender headstocks. And uh, so this Squire bass really nails it. I will say, does it remind me of the actual, you know, 70s basses that I've seen face to face? Not really. It seems like those were always a little heavier and they were really built like tanks, built in a way that they would hold up for decades at a time. Could I see this classic vibe holding up for three or four decades? No, I could not. But that does not negate the bass. It still nails the vibe in a lot of ways and has a really cool sound and it's a joy to play. I love uh, the gloss maple neck. Um, it feels great, sounds great. And when I think of bass in the 70s, the biggest thing that I think of is slap bass. You know, people like Larry Graham who emerged slapping the bass and defining a new style. So can this thing slap? Let's find out. Interestingly about the 70s, you know, round wound bass strings, which is what we have on this bass today, uh, first came out around 1962, but they really didn't emerge as the regular bass strings to use on your bass until sometime in the late 60s or early 70s. And then in the 70s, you know, we started hearing round wounds in most popular music. But there were a lot of bass players in the 70s who still defaulted to flat wounds. So how does this bass sound with flat wound strings? Well, I'm gonna put some roto sound flats on it and we're gonna do a little quick comparison and see how they sound in comparison to the round wound strings. Thank 
Guys, what do you think of this bass and of the Classic Vibes series in general? Do you have any? Are there other basses in the Classic Vibes series that you're dying to see a review of? Let me know in the comments. My consensus is that this is a really cool bass, and do I recommend getting one for the money? Absolutely, if it meets the playing style and the sound that you are looking for. Thanks so much for checking out today's video. Make sure you're subscribed to the Rumble Man channel. If you enjoyed this content today, I ask you to go on and hit the thumbs up button for me so that YouTube will recommend my video in searches. And if you're a regular viewer, you also have the option of supporting my channel on Patreon, which is really helpful and really keeps things going here. Um, however, there is never any pressure to do that because my goal is for you to be blessed by the content we produce. Okay, so guys, thanks for tuning in today. Uh, you'll see on the end screen some recommendations of other videos like this one that I hope you'll check out. And until the next video, God bless, and I will see you soon. Peace.